Carson Wentz is the quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles and currently it's not looking so good for Wentz and Philly. 0-2-1 is the record after that tie game against the Cincinnati Bengals. The Eagles tied about 10 years ago, I want to say, a few years ago with Donovan McNabb as the quarterback of the Eagles against the Cincinnati Bengals. So it happened yet again. He tied because he said he didn't know that a game could end in a tie. And you just keep on playing over and over until there is a victor. But Carson Wentz ties this game for the Philadelphia Eagles against the Bengals. Thankfully, there were no fans in that Philly crowd. Otherwise, there would be a lot of boos going on. And and I am don't know if this was true or not, but... If you watched the last week's Philadelphia game, were fans booing even when there were no fans in Philly? I thought I heard boos. It doesn't make any sense. Why would they play, play boos over uh, the speaker when you boo your home team? But anyways, fact of the matter is, Carson Wentz has not been looking good with the Philadelphia Eagles. The question is, though, is that all on Wentz? Or is that on the team of Philadelphia and the injuries that they've had? Listen, this receiving core is depleted for Carson Wentz. Four out of five of Carson Wentz's top receiving options are gone. They're hurt. They're injured. They may be coming back like Alshon Jeffrey, but as of right now and as of last week, they were hurt. Let me read you those names off of the players that that are currently hurt. Alshon Jeffrey, like we mentioned, he might be coming back pretty soon. Jalen Rager is going to be out for a few weeks. Dallas Goddard is going to be placed on IR with an ankle injury. Deshaun Jackson is going to be out with a uh, hamstring injury, I believe. That's four of the top five receiving options for Carson Wentz. It cannot be Zach Ertz over and over and over every single week. You can only do so much with Zach Ertz before they start double covering him. So who does Carson Wentz have to throw the ball to? There's Zach Ertz, like we mentioned. There's also Greg Ward. But it's not enough to produce uh, a high-scoring affair for this Philadelphia team. And that's why you see this team falling down underneath 20 points a game or even under 25 points just because they don't have that high-powered offense. They were without Miles Sanders in week one. Lane Johnson got hurt, and thankfully he was able to come back. But he was without – he played without a few snaps or half a game, I believe. So – You have these injuries that is affecting this Philadelphia Eagles team, and I don't believe that Carson Wentz is all to blame because I still am a believer in Carson Wentz. You're going to call me crazy, but I still believe in Carson Wentz. I still believe that he's a talented quarterback, and I still believe that Philadelphia made the right decision in choosing Wentz over Nick Foles as their starting quarterback because I promise you if, if it were Foles in this situation instead of Wentz, things would be a lot Worse than it is with Carson Wentz. Doug Peterson was asked about Wentz by the media. Are you going to take Carson Wentz out of the game and replace him with Jalen Hurts? That's the question. The media likes to stir things up a bit because he's your second round pick. Jalen Hurts is. And Doug Peterson said that would be a knee jerk reaction if we took Carson Wentz out of the game. Right now, if this trend were to continue and if he were to play two, three, four more games like the way he's been playing right now, yeah, it could happen. But as of right now, Wentz is going to be the starting quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. It's a crappy situation, but it's not all his fault. And the best way that he can prove that, that he is still the the better quarterback or one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL, that he can still produce at his MVP level like he did, Uh, a couple years back, three years back, is this Sunday night against the San Francisco 49ers when your defense is so depleted. There's no Solomon Thomas. There's no Nick Bosa. There's no Richard Sherman. This is the best opportunity for you to succeed in the season that you've been having against one of the better teams, the defending NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. Because if Wentz can show out in this game, which... I'm not really too confident about, but I feel like he could help the Philadelphia Eagles be in a position at least to help the team win. And if at least he's in that position or he can help the team win, no matter 
how many interceptions he throws or how many touchdowns he throws, if he can help that team win and get a victory, he's going to continue to be the starting quarterback for the Eagles, and he's going to continue to just wait out the clock until all of his players were to come back from injury, and this Philadelphia Eagles team will be back to once where it was, and that was an above-average high-scoring team in the NFL. So Carson Wentz, a lot of weight on his shoulders. I'm telling you right now, I am a believer in Wentz, and I still feel like he has the potential to be one of the uh, borderline top 10 quarterbacks in the NFL. Just got to prove it with the team that you've got right now.